Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Literacy Grade R, where we do stories, poems, games, learn about letters and numbers and all kinds of fascinating words. Are you ready for a brand new week? We definitely are, and we look forward to share it with you. Good morning, Bube. How are you? Boo Bear says he's got some exciting new words to share with you. Wow. Boo Bear says in South Africa, we have 11 official languages. Boo Bear, that's so much or many. What are they? So Boo Bear says he wants to actually sing hello in some of our languages. But first, we need to learn some of the words. What are your languages you speak? Do you speak more than one? I speak two. I speak Afrikaans and English. So I've already said, good morning, Boo Bear. That's English. And in Afrikaans, it's Goeiemorgen. <laughs> What's your language? Bube says he knows Dumela, Kunjani, and Salbona. Which ones do you know? Can you send me hello messages? Bube, that's great. Let's sing hello, everyone. Ha is for hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you wave hello? Hello, hello, hello. Wave hello to your left and wave hello to your right. Hello, hello. Booby waves hello. Kunjani, everyone. <laughs> so, Last week, we did days of the week. So from this week on, we are going to practice our days every morning. Can you remember what they are? Well, yesterday was Sunday. So let's start. It's Sunday. Today is Monday. Then tomorrow is Tuesday. Then Wednesday. Then Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and then we are back at Sunday. So let's see what is today. Today is Monday. The word in our pencil is Monday. We are on day 11. So day 11 is 10 fingers. Can you wiggle 10 fingers for me? And ask someone to add one more finger. So 10 fingers with one more finger makes 11. And then we are still in the month of May. So today is Monday, the 11th of May. But we are also in the season of autumn. We are slowly approaching our cold winter months. And autumn is when the leaves are falling off the trees and making a big blanket on our grass and flowers to protect them from the cold that's coming. So we are in autumn where things are just a little bit colder in the mornings and in the evenings or um, during the night. So I love autumn. Don't you? The colors are pretty. Bube says he also loves autumn because autumn is when he starts getting all the food ready to go and sleep, to hibernate for winter. That's very interesting, Bube. It's story time. Today's story is called Animal Sports Day. Oh, wow. Are you guys ready? Let me hear. Are you ready for a story? Okay. So go and sit somewhere quiet. Cross your legs or sit on the couch. 
wherever you are and let's listen because remember at the end of our story we are gonna have some fun with the information are you ready okay have you guys all gathered around to sit and listen fantastic today is animal sports day wow what animals are those guys mm. i see a elephant and a giraffe and a cheetah and a hippopotamus and a rhinoceros do you see the animals on the screen i can jump i can jump very high can you who's talking guys could that be the giraffe are giraffes tall wow what sport do you think our giraffe is doing guys do you see our giraffe is jumping very very high mm -hmm. i can run very fast can you what's that on the screen is it our cheetah wow just look at him go guys do you see how fast our cheetah is running i can kick i can kick very hard can you can you guys kick have you guys ever kicked something what animal is on the screen <laughs> look at that funny rhinoceros he is kicking a ball all right i can throw i can throw very high can you can you guys throw mm -hmm. i can throw what's that on the screen can you tell me that's right it's an elephant the elephant is throwing a ball what kind of a ball is it do you know i can catch i can catch very well can you listen to that squeaky monkey what's the monkey doing guys is the monkey catching a ball <laughs> can you guys make monkey sounds can you go <laughs> I can swim. I can swim very fast. Can you? Can any of you swim at home? Have you learned to swim yet? <gasps> Look at our hippopotamus or our hippo. She's got a mask on and she's got some fins on her feet and she's got a tube. Do you still swim with a tube? Remember, if we don't know how to swim, we don't go in the water without our tube safety gear and moms and dads around. Okay, what color is her bathing suit or costume? That's right, it's green with little pink dots. Do you see that? I can hit a ball. I can hit a ball very hard. Can you? Ew. What's that, guys? I'm almost a little scared. Oh, he's a friendly lion. Do you see him hit the ball? Do you know what sport that is? <laughs> we can win we are winners we are all winners together we win do you think all of them said that can you say it with me let's say it all together we can win we are winners we are all winners together we win 
Do you want to do that again? We can win. We are winners. We are all winners together. We win. Look at them. It looks like all of them were winners. Can you tell me what animals do you see on the screen? Can you find them? I can see a giraffe and a lion. I can see an elephant. I can see a hippopotamus and a cheetah and a monkey and a rhinoceros. Did you enjoy the story? What silly animals. Do you think the animals can really play all those sports? <laughs> well, in my imagination, I saw them do all the sports. Did you like the story, Boobie? What sport do you want to do, Boobie? Oh, that's interesting. Boobie wants to do shot put. That's when he throws something very far. Wow, Boobie. All right, bookworms, it's activity time. Let's try this together. So, what animal do you see on the screen? That's right, it's our monkey. Can you guys all do monkey sounds? <laughs> Listen carefully. The monkey says, I can catch. Say the. What say that, guys? Let me hear. That's right. It's the monkey. All right, so this is how our activity works. I am going to show you some animals and I want you to match the animal with the animal in our question. And there are some hints on the screen. So we see a monkey and then I say, I can catch, said the, and then you need to tell me which animal do you see on the screen that fits our picture. Right, let's try another one. What's that, Booby? It's an elephant. I can throw, said the. Who said that, guys? Could it be the cheetah? Mm -mm -mm. Could it be the giraffe? Mm -mm -mm. Could it be the monkey? No. Booby, then it has to be the. Elephant. The elephant said, I can throw. Well done. What's that, Booby? That's our giraffe. What is our giraffe doing? Do you know? I can jump, said the. What's our giraffe doing, guys? Is it an elephant that said that? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, because our elephant was throwing. Is it our monkey? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, because what's our monkey doing? It is catching. Is it our giraffe? Aha, uh -huh, it is jumping. And our cheetah is, what's our cheetah doing? Running. That's right. It's our giraffe that can jump very high. Can you jump very high? Can you jump very high? Let me see. Can you jump, jump, jump? All right. Which animal is that? Let me hear. Booby says it's our cheetah. What's our cheetah doing, guys? Is it jumping? Mm -mm. Is it throwing? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Is it catching something? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What is it doing? Booby says I'm being silly. He says the cheetah is running. I can run, said the elephant. Mm -mm. The monkey. Mm -mm. The giraffe. 
Ah, uh ah. -uh. Could it be? That's right, it's our cheetah. Our cheetah can run very fast. Right, guys. So today we are going to learn a new poem. Did you have fun with those questions? So poetry for you. Listen carefully. A little hippo went out to play is the poem's name. A little hippo went out to play. He splashed in the river one sunny day. I'm lost, he said. <laughs> I'm all alone. I wish I could remember the way to my home. Wow, what a silly poem. Guys, what is our hippo doing? Our hippo is having fun. Splash, splash, splash. Can you splash? Splash, 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 splashing in the water on a sunny day. Is our day warm if it's sunny? Mm -hmm. When the sun is out, it's normally nice and warm. But our hippo went too far. Our hippo is lost and all alone. Do you think our hippo might be sad and scared? Can you show me scared and sad faces? And then can you think, he goes, I wish I can remember the way home. Do you guys want to try the poem with me? So we are going to be happy at the beginning and then sad and scared at the end. Let's try. A little hippo went out to play. He splashed in the river one sunny day. I am lost, he said. I'm all alone. I wish I can remember the way to my home. Will you guys try this poem at home? Will you act it out for me at home? So, let's try and figure out which animals are in this picture. Can you tell me? I can see a giraffe. Can you count the animals for me? One, an elephant, two, a rhinoceros is three, a lion is four, the hippo makes five. So, so far we've got five animals. The cheetah makes six. And the monkey makes seven. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven animals. We had seven animals in the sports day. And remember, they were all winners. So, the number seven. Your turn. Things to do at home. Can you name all the animals in our story? Can you learn the poem? Remember our little hippo poem? Can you go and learn it for me? Can you also draw all the animals in the story? I would love to see the pictures, okay? Yes, Booby. Please, can you send us all your beautiful pictures of the hippo and the rhino and the giraffe and the lion and monkey and um, the cheetah? Will you draw them for me? So, moms and dads, if you want something extra to do, on our website at africateengeeks.co.za, there are some resources. Today's lesson, I have a matching um, game for you where you can match our real life animals with our characters in our story. I would love to see them, so please send me some pictures. 
we have a new quote for the week. On the screen, you see our elephant holding an umbrella over a doggy. And it's raining, do you see? Do you think our elephant is taking care of our dog? That is right. So this week's quote is, teaching kids to count is fine, but teaching them what count is best. Teaching kids to count is fine, but teaching them what counts is best. That's by Bob Talbert. Let's take care of one another, everyone. Join me tomorrow, Tuesday, 12 May at 10. Can't wait to see you. Moms and dads, if you're wondering what your little one should be doing in term two, I am putting some stuff in the slides for you. Those links are all from my education department for grade R, where you can find workbooks and worksheets and all the information about what you can help your little ones with. Those um, as, uh, uh, words and things on the screen and the rubrics is basically what we need to learn in grade R. So you'll see it's all about singing and songs and reciting rhymes. So go and have a look at it because we are basing all our um, lessons on this information. So what did we do in our class today? We learned about wild animals and sports. We had story time, listening and understanding, or remember that big word, great R's, comprehension. We identified number symbols, we counted to seven, we matched objects, we named some animals, and we did a poem. We did so much work. Wow. Are you guys ready to say goodbye? We are. Goodbye. Goodbye. We had some fun. We had some fun today. Goodbye. 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 Now let's go and play. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great afternoon. Thank you to Africa Teen Geeks and all our sponsors. We want to see those pictures. Goodbye, everyone.